Hello, you are watching Soro Lab. I am your host, Dr. Nobody, and welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. So, we have a little bit of work to do today. I have, since last episode, been doing a little bit of work on the, um, uh, the lab slash hatchery area down there. First, though, let's t take a look at, um, at Eddie here. He is very, he's, he's getting pretty big. Um, uh, we're gonna move him over to the nursery once it's finished, which it isn't quite yet, but you can see I've been doing some work. Um, but yeah, he's quite big. So anyway, let's go check out what I've done. Um, the villagers are still hiding in the little viewing area there, um, because this, is, this place is not quite ready for them. Let's just check in, make sure they're all happy. Hey guys, how's it going? Everyone still here? Good. Alright, so... Um, come on, let me out, okay. So, down over here, I've been working on the lab, as you can see. Um, we've got the pathway coming in here. And the doors. And I'm thinking, there are pressure plates here. I'm gonna build a fence around the entire area that the villagers can't get in and out of, so we'll be able to walk in and out and go all around this area, so that'll be fine. And over here, these are the uh, the pens that I'm going to do, so the path comes out, and then on either side there's pens. There's a flower in that one, get rid of that. So yeah, I've only done it on this side, we need... Uh, symmetrical ones on the other side, and then also we need aquatic, we need some aquatic and aviary pens, which I think are going to go in the back here. I'll flatten this out and figure out something. But yeah, and then upstairs, there's a little staircase here. Upstairs, there's just a skylight, and it's still empty. I haven't moved any of the equipment or anything over here yet. But today, we are not going to be working on the laboratory. We are going to be laying the groundwork for the Spinosaurus. Which means getting rid of these pumpkins. So, Spinosaurus, how do we do this? Um, I'm thinking, so the dam is over there, right? And it comes in... Uh, the stream comes in right here, so I think I think the dam is going to be the boundary of the enclosure on that end, and I can dig out this hillside to keep it all all safe. It's really just this bit over here that needs some blocking off. So what we'll probably do is we'll do like. Ooh, you know what we could do? I like this now. Imagine. Maybe maybe it's, maybe we don't do it for the Spinosaurus, but it, it would it would work here. So imagine if we had a viewing area that was like in the ground, like we dug down, uh, and like at a zoo where you look into like the hippos or the alligators or whatever, and you see like under the water. That would be cool, cause I will. I'll deep, cause I'll deepen this lake. I'm gonna do that anyway. It's too shallow. Um, but that would be really cool, actually, to do like a, a viewing area like that. I like that idea. Again, I don't know if it suits the Spinosaurus, but I. I mean. I mean I, I mean, I think it would be good, but I, don't, I just don't know if there's something that would be better for it. Of course, we have Sarcosuchus, but I have, a, I have some different ideas for what we could do with that. So I think that's what we're going to do here, actually, is we're going to do the, uh, the underwater thing. So with that in mind, the boundary of the enclosure would be about here. Let me cut out this little bit. And 
go across, I will fill in this little pit here. And actually, this will probably go across like that in a diagonal. Get rid of the flower. And then into the hillside there. So this would be the area where we go down. You would like walk down a staircase here and go under and look in. I like that. Um, so then all we need to do is if after we build that wall, we would dig out dig out these hillsides so that Spino cannot uh, climb up, up and out. I'd like to make it a little taller because I want to like block it off with stone as well not just have a dirt hill. I'm going to make it look a little bit more proper. And that was a little bit too much. There's a cave here, which I'll need to do something about. That can't stay. But it's fine. We can just dig out all this. It is kind of annoying sometimes how imprecise a really fast shovel is, but at the same time, I love having a really fast shovel for the fastness of it. And I'm going to fill this in. This is kind of a weird little bit that I don't think needs to be part of the exhibit, really. So we're just going to... I'm thinking probably a standard of like four blocks tall, at least. I know that, uh, like, because I, I just want to make, be able to make like a pretty, pretty substantial stone barrier so that it looks, looks good. I might even make the stone barrier go all the way up, actually, because then we could have a walkway going all the way around with the stone wall, like, sort of being the edge of it. So that could be a thing. That could definitely be a thing. I'll have to think about that. In fact, I think I am going to do that. So with that in mind, we can uh, clear up. Or we don't have to make it perfectly inescapable because I'll build the wall sort of in a different way. So we'll do just around here, making this a little bit flatter so that it's easier to build said wall. And then it will cross over here. So, like so, it'll come around. And I might build a, might build a custom cliff on this side. Uh, I block it in but we'll see. And then we've got the, the boundary here. So yeah, I like that. And then, this is what we would do for the underground bit. So we'd go like this, right? Probably three wide. We dig a staircase down to like here. What is going on? Okay, um, that was really weird. Um, let me, uh, I think we want to, what is, why, why do I get hurt when I go here? It's a ghost block. <laughs> Never seen ghost blocks hurt you before, though. Okay, uh, I'm going to get rid of some stuff. I really do not need all of this dirt. I think we want to go down by one more here to this level. And then we just go along like so and on this side would be a glass wall into the uh, into the the lake. So what we can do is then go to the other side this line and do a second staircase 
like so. And there we go, lines up perfectly. So, yeah, it'd be like that, and this would be the viewing area. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So you'd go down here. We will need to uh, take out these blocks, actually, to make that a non-head-hitting staircase, which is very important. I hate hitting my head on a staircase. So, yeah, that's about, that's about what it would be. I think that's good. We can get rid of all of this grass, really. It really doesn't need to be here. Oh, you know what I can do, actually? It's way more efficient. There we go. Yeah. Take out all of that. Okay. So... Yeah, I like I like that. So that's gonna be our viewing area. We could even have, like, a, a above viewing area here, in this space between the staircases. But yeah, that's... I think that's good. Um... Yeah. Let's look on the map and see how big the enclosure is. Yeah, that's, that's definitely big enough for a Spinosaurus. Yeah, definitely. It's it's bigger than the Allosaurus, and that's, I think that's appropriate. Speaking of the Allosaurus, let's go check on the Allosaurus. I haven't seen how big he's gotten uh, in a little while. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. All right, let's go. Um, let's go up here. We should actually go home and sleep first. So let's do that. Oh, this is the Allosaurus exhibit. Which I think we might soon be able to put our uh, Edaphosaurus in. We might not have to. Uh, might not. Might not even have to move him to the nursery. We could just move him straight in there by next time. But anyway, that is uh, pretty good for now in terms of the groundwork for that enclosure gonna sleep and we'll go well, we'll just, since I don't really have anything else to do in this episode I guess we'll just uh, we can go around and um, check on our dinosaurs make sure everyone's happy it's our Dinopedia so let's see we've got the Dipocalus right yeah they're in there they look like they're doing well they're not really moving but that's fine. Um, I can't really get in there to click them with a the book. Hello. How are you guys doing? We've got Peach. Come here. I want to look at you. Peach. Calm. Okay, that's good. We've got eggs. Uh, got uh, Paco. Doing. He's he's doing a little. He's he's doing a. He's he's a little bit higher. Interestingly. Um, then we've got Deer, also Calm. That's good. And then we have, again, the Tectalic. Ugh, need to get that. Um, oh, we need to check on the Morse information dinos over here. Uh, head down. I guess we can go down anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Ouch. Hey, guys. So we've got uh, Stephen. Looking good. Calm. Yep. Hunger shouldn't be going down. Because um, I turned that off, but whatever. Um, we've got Brienne who is also calm. And we've got Duncan, who is actually outside of the exhibit. Somehow. Not really entirely, completely sure how that happened. I'm just gonna break out. 
Uh, hey. Hey, Duncan, what are you doing? How did you get out? Like, what is... how? How are you inside here? What? His head is poking through into the Allosaurus. And speaking of which... Are you... Are you happy? You're almost escaping. I don't think you can, though. Oh my god, he can escape! He can absolutely escape. Uh... Oh no. Uh, alright. I'm gonna get a golden lasso, because we've got... Oh, he went back in, though. But he can definitely escape, so I gotta go get the... The lasso. Let's, let's teleport here. Wait, I already have the lasso. Oh my god, I'm such a fool. Okay, well, let's go get him. Didn't really expect to have so much excitement in this episode, but apparently we're having the great dinosaur escape today. It did seem like Duncan wasn't sleeping, though, which is kind of a good sign, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab the Allosaurus in here, and then I'm gonna fix this area so he can't escape. Come here! Get over here. I need to grab you. Alan? Okay. So... It's this here. I need to just... Uh, yeah, flatten this out. Did I actually... Did I complete... I completely failed to make this at all escape-proof, didn't I? Wow, that's... That's good. I did a good job here, didn't I? Real... Real good job. There we go. Better. And he can't get out anywhere else, right? Right? Good. And Duncan is sleeping again. Good. Okay. Alan, you can go back down right here. Good. And you're not trying to kill me. I like it. Or are you? No, you're not. You're fine. Yeah, you're calm. You've even got a little bit extra happiness. We need to get you some friends, though. I need to go on a massive fossil hunt. That's what I need to do. Okay, now we need to grab Duncan, if I can even find his hitbox. I don't know where he is. Is he... is is this him? Yes, this is him. But I can't get him from there. Okay. Um, maybe from inside the Allosaurus? Come on, I need to get you. There we go. Duncan is in the in the lasso. All right. Do not escape, you. Let's put you back where you belong, Duncan. This is silly. How did he get out? I don't understand. He just slept his way through the fence. <laughs> he dreamed so vividly that he was be that he was beyond the fence that it became a reality. Here you go. And goes straight to sleep. Good. Alright. Well, uh, after, after that, uh, slight near disaster, that's about all we have time for today. Next time, we will hopefully incubate the Spinosaurus and, uh, actually get it uh, maybe even hatched tomorrow. I mean, uh, next time. Not tomorrow. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Remember to wash your hands. I've been Dr. Nobody. Goodbye.